So our final race from Taunton is race 20. It's a two mile two version. Of the Chase starters all as qualifier. So Dapple Grey for Punchable Racing is one. Igna TF for Callan and C for James Shea is two. Millwall Black for Martin Needham along with Eleanor Rigme. A three and four. Tunnel Vision is five for Kim Amina Hamper. Billy and Bury for Darren Thompson is six. Hems is Bellagio Fenton is seven. Eruption for Craig Whitworth is eight. Seaview Pretender for Thomas Rogers is nine. Bulletproof for Daniel French ten. Sabrina Elf for Paul is eleven. Aztec Warrior for Alex Cherry is twelve. Little Miss Hot Stuff for Kim Amina is thirteen. And number fourteen was Dark Shadow. Ryan Costello. Already await. I start just on the turn here. And we're going to be led into the first by Ignatieff Kalanisi for James Shea. Takes the first of them. Then we'll get over it. Bit of a poor jump by, uh, I think, come on, just slipping back. There's bulletproof. Bit of a mistake on landing. But it's Ignatieff Kalanisi. That leads us from Aztec Warrior in second, Millwall Black in third. And you've got the first of the Greys, Dapple Grey nosing through as we get to the first big ditch, and then we'll get over it. And going out wide is, I think, uh, Eruption. We go over the third, the 14 they have to take. And we'll get over it. But, uh, Ignatieff Kalanisi is the one that's leading us by about three lengths to Aztec Warrior on his own in second. We get to another big ditch, the fourth. Everybody gets over it. A couple of slide jumps towards the rear. A few mistakes, but it's Ignatieff Kalanisi. Swings them right handed. Back towards, back towards the stable block in the stands. And he leads by about three to Aztec Warrior. And then the War Blacks are further three back. First of the Greys, Dapple Grey, and then a Rigby on his outside. They're followed through by Sambrina Elliott and Tunnel Vision. Then a length back to Little Miss Hot Stuff. We go over the fifth. I believe they took a little bit of a gamble on it. And these leads down to just a couple of lengths now. We go over the six. He takes it well. Getting a little bit strung out now. He's through the first sort of five, six furlongs, but it's Ignatieff Kalanisi. It leads him into the seven. He jumps it well. A couple of slow jumps towards the rear. He's only got Aztec Warrior for company at the moment. There's a further four, or five lengths back to Eleanor Rigby. Normal Black on the inside. Tunnel Vision, San Barina Elliott. Dapple Grey up against the fence with nowhere to go. And then we've got Little Miss Hot Stuff, followed through by Bulletproof. Pavilion Bury up, also up against the fence with. Uh, then hurry along, shaken up a bit. Out wide is the Great Eruption. We've got a length and a half back to Bellagio Fenton, Seaview Pretender, and Dark Shadow. And the swing right handed again. We go out just with a mile left to travel. It's Ignatieff Kalanisi from Aztec Warrior together. And then we're about five back to Millwall Black. They've been new one, two, three for a while now. And Tunnel Vision, Eleanor Rigby, as they go to the eighth. Aztec Warrior didn't get over it well. Bit of a mistake on land, and as loud, Ignatieff Kalanisi to put a couple of lengths away again. Millwall Black joins Aztec Warrior, although Aztec Warrior is being pushed along again. Try and catch up. Being pushed along out of the pack now is Eleanor Rigby as they go over the ninth. Oh, we've lost one there, and it was Tunnel Vision that went. And a mistake at that, and he's gone. So as we come down with just five furlongs to go, as we go over the tenth, Aztec Warrior is another mistake there and starting to shuffle back down the pack. And it's allowed Millwall Black to try and chase down Ignatieff Kalanisi. Aztec Warriors trying again. Pavilion Bury moving through the pack. Dapple Grey. They go the 11th. That's four from home with just three to jump. Is Ignatieff Kalanisi. It still leads from Millwall Black being challenged now by Pavilion Bury on the wide outside. Dapple Grey pushing through. Aztec Warriors coming to have another go. And then a Rigby. But at the leader at the moment, he's got about three length advantage as we come inside the final three. Is Ignatieff Kalanisi. Been there since the beginning. Leads by about four to Pavilion Bury. Millwall Black. Dapple Grey. Aztec Warrior. Oh, and he went straight through through the top of it, the leader there, Millwall Black got away better, so we're inside the final quarter mile and it's still Ignatieff Kalanisi, a little bit of a slow jump there, worse from Millwall Black, Pavilion Bury got over it well, so with a furlong and a half to go as they come down to the last, it's Ignatieff Kalanisi and Pavilion Bury jump it well, Pavilion Bury jumped it better, so Pavilion Bury now by half a length inside the final half, it's Pavilion Bury from Ignatieff Kalanisi, is he going to hang on here, I think Pavilion Bury is going to take this from the long time leader, Ign Natif Kalanisi, Millwall Black ended up being third. Uh, a good win there for Pavilion Bury, which I think is Darren Thompson. So another one in the final, week 13. Unfortunately there, Ignatieff Kalanisi for James Shea. He's been running really well. Just made a couple of mistakes in the last two. And they're a good four or five lengths away from third, which was Millwall Black. Uh, Martin Leader. Fourth was Bulletproof for Daniel French, and fifth was Dapple Grey for Pontypool Racing.